Hey Guru Nation, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Sorry I haven't done too many videos this week. I caught a cold, but I am here. I'm reading a really good book by Jocko Willink about Navy SEALs and leadership. Go check it out. I'm actually listening to it on Audible. Um, but it, something important I read that I think can be applicable to clinical researchers is prioritize and execute. And this is especially true. What first jumped to mind was the site owners, the people that want to open up their own research clinics. And because I talk to probably a handful of these people every single day, which is, by the way, shameless plug, why we started our Site Owner Academy, which if you're interested, let me know. We're starting our first three month course in October. It's gonna be super helpful for anyone wanting to start a research site. We're gonna teach you how to prioritize and execute, but a lot of people that we talk to when they wanna start their own research clinics, they get overwhelmed and understandably so by all these different things that they hear from other business owners, like have a business plan, have investors, and then pertaining to clinical research, have SOPs, have GCP training, all the licenses you need, what insurance do you need? Look, it's this is a very simple business. It's not an easy business, but it's a simple business. And you need to prioritize and execute. So what does that mean? Well, rather than worrying about a logo or what your company name will be or what your website's going to be, or what your business plan is gonna be. If you decided that you wanna start a research clinic, you need to come up with three things, okay? You need a PI. Without a PI, there's nothing you can do. Once you get a PI, you need to get studies. And once you get studies, then you need everything else. You need to get the patients enrolled. You need to simultaneously create your SOP. Probably somewhere right before getting your first study, you need to get your create your SOPs so that by the time they ask you at your site selection visit, whether you have your SOPs and your CLIA waiver and your GCP and all that other insurance and everything else, you have it. But prioritize and execute, there is an order to doing this. It's getting a PI first, then, and only then, applying for studies, and right before your first site selection visit, take care of all the licensures, regulatory, all that other stuff, prioritize and execute and somewhere in between, whenever it makes sense, come up with a website, a logo, a name, all that stuff. Prioritize and execute. If you're a job seeker, use the same strategy. Find out what's wrong with your CV in the first place. Are you missing experience? Are you applying to positions that only require or will only consider candidates who have experience? Well, then you're wasting your time by applying to jobs if you don't have experience. Uh, if that's not the case, so then you need to prioritize getting experience. Go intern somewhere. Go hire as a, go work and get hired as an entry level person somewhere at a, at a company, maybe at a at a slightly lower pay scale, so that you can then become experienced and then gain another job like a higher level job. Typically, this would mean go apply to be a study coordinator first, and then you can get the experience necessary to become a CRA. Um, if you already have the experience, now you just need to prioritize who you're applying for, how many applications are you, are you sending every day, how are you tracking this, are you going on clinicaltrials.gov, are you using HubSpot or some kind of CRM to track where you're applying, are you tracking how you're doing in your interviews, are you tracking the questions that you've had uh, problems with in past interviews, are you asking for feedback from your interviews, these are the things you need to prioritize at that point. But Prioritize and execute. It's very easy to get overwhelmed uh, with the complexity of everything in this industry. And really, it's not that complex. It's simple. It's not easy. It's simple. So prioritize and execute. Thanks for watching. I'll do another video later this week. Take care.